Hey YouTubers, Steven here. Uh, how's everybody's day going? Good? Good? Yeah? Good? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I got another homebrew tip in under 5 minutes for you. I don't even think it'll take 30 seconds because it's a really quick and easy one, but I'll drag it out since you take, took the time to come watch this. But uh, All you need is a cheap marker. Um, the last time I mentioned the dollar store, someone, oh, you're spot. No, I'm not sponsored by the dollar store. It's just where I got it. But anyways, that doesn't really matter. I'm rambling. So what am I doing with said marker? Well, when you uh, put your beers in secondary or your wine coolers or wine, whatever, anything that you're using a glass carboy for, um, this is what I do. Let me show you. Now, a lot of people probably, you know, put stickers and papers and whatnot, but I just take this uh, marker and I just write right on the carboy. Here's my original gravity for my wine cooler wash. And I actually put this into a secondary because I didn't want to stir up all the sediment from the turbo yeast. Uh, it actually took just over a month and a half for it to clear all on its own. Um, so my finished gravity is right below it. I added the potassium sorbate just got to sit for a few more days and I can mix it up and there's the other one that I have all right that one's gonna be nice and potent but uh, you know they're fairly clear so you can use the uh, the whiteboard markers or dry erase I think they're called um, this one says that it's uh, permanent but it washes off with soap and water when I'm cleaning the carboy so it's not a big deal but uh, just a little tip to pass on. So uh, until next time, shout out to all my new subscribers. Thanks for joining me. And uh, as always, be hoppy.